Hi, good morning. This is Jennifer with City Farmhouse Antiques, and I just wanted to share as I'm taking these beautiful photos of these Lundberg Art Studio glass pieces, I wanted to show you one of my favorite styles. This is what, when you hear Jack in the Pulpit, this is what it means. And here you can see how gorgeous this is. But there's actually a Jack in the Pulpit flower, and so this is made after the jack and pulpit flower because it has a hole in the middle and it has a the flower is upright goes up flares out it has a hood with a hole there in the center that you can see they're absolutely striking i just love them these are these are one of my favorites just because of the design and the form and of course you have to think too that these are all handmade and hand done so you start with a little molten blob of glass on the end of a punt stick and you have to keep it hot enough to form it. You've got to form all of these um, curves and I mean you've got to form the, the neck of this, the base of this, and then depending upon what metals they use, um, you've got the different illumination in here and iridescence of different colors like this hot pink. You can see some amethyst up here, the golds, the greens, the, the aqua. I mean, just beautiful. Every angle you turn it, you see different colors and they're just beautiful. And you can even see, you know, like the, the, the crimping and the creasing within the piece that just adds even more flair. So they're absolutely gorgeous. And then as you come down on the bottom, you're gonna see where it came off of that punt stick. So typically, the way that it looks gives you a clue as to the maker. Some of your finer pieces will typically, it's kind of a general rule of thumb, have more of a polished pontil like this one. You can, and, and some pieces of glass will just have where it was just cut off from that molten rod after it was formed and away from the stick and it will just be a real rough end to it and you'll actually see where they cut it off right at the piece. But this is polished, somewhat polished. Um, and here you can see the signature for Lundberg Studios and this piece is 1995, which you can see there and then numbered. And Again, these are named after the flower. Here's another beautiful, beautiful piece. And Lundberg Studios, like I mentioned in another video, makes a lot of their pieces. Some are to look antique, you know, like um, Tiffany. Um, and some are made to look more modern. Here's another color in the same style, Jack in the Pulpit. You see that beautiful, beautiful gold iridescence and fuchsia pink. Look at the base. I mean, it's just beautiful. I just love this this form of maybe because it looks like a flower and then you can see it's got you know the different coloring around the edge this is why people become addicted to glass and they love to collect it and just leave it out you know for um, home decor for pieces of interest or just to collect and admire from a cabinet as long as you keep the children and the dog tails away so that is what Jack in the Pulpit means. And here you can see the pontil on the bottom of this one. And typically you want to pick your pieces up when you turn them. Um, I know that this is smooth. I'm not, I'm not really concerned about it, what they're on to avoid scratching or um, you know, anything on the bottoms. So be sure and check out all of our pieces of art glass. Um, this collection is beautiful. These are the first few pieces we're getting up on the website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com where we always have more than just antiques. Look how the light catches that spot. You can see different colors. Um, and go give us a like on Facebook and tell us what you collect. If you collect glass, what do you like to collect? 
And Jack in the Pulpit, this style comes in makers, a lot of makers make these pieces. So this isn't typical just of Lundberg. Fenton has Jack in the Pulpit pieces that I have had and sold. Um, Murano Glass, a lot of different makers make this style. So this is not specific to Lundberg. So keep checking back with us and message us if you have any questions. Have a great day.